skills lesson, let's take a look at what we're going to learn today. We'll review the L sound using L and LL spellings, expand short sentences, and read the story Two Good Things and One Bad Thing. And we will answer some comprehension questions. Let's take a look at our sound cards. If we look at the sound card L, we can see the sound L is spelled often with one L because the power bar is so full. Let's take an example. Let's look at examples of some common spellings. We have large and solve. If we look at the bottom sound card, we can see that the LL spelling does not occur that often. Let's look at some most common spellings. We have still and well. LL is most often found at the end of words. Now you're going to open up to this page. Make sure you write your name and date just like I did. Let's go through our word bank. We have long, solve, look, still, like, all, sleeve, latch, large, smell, well, and skill. We have to organize these words by their spellings. Let's take a look. If you need to pause the video to write, do so. Make sure your handwriting is very neat and there's no floating letters, meaning that your letters are written on the lines. Long, where does long go? In the first column with the O or the second column with two L's? Right. Solve. Where does solve belong on the chart? Right, in the first column. How about look? What column does look belong in? You got it, the L column. How about the word still? Where does still belong? Great job. Like, where does like belong? Good job. All, where does all belong? Awesome. Where does sleeve belong? Great job. Where does latch belong? Awesome. Where does large belong? Great job. Where does smell belong? Great job. Where does well belong? Awesome. And the last one, where does skill belong? Great job, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Rebuilding sentences. Remember, we need to add additional information to these sentences. Where, what, what kind, and an adjective. Let's take a look. Number one, Max digs. What can we add to this sentence? We need to add where, what, and an adjective. Let's see. Max digs small rocks in his backyard. My where in red is in his backyard. What is he digging up? You have in yellow his rocks. And my adjective is small because it describes the rocks. You know what size they are. Let's try number two. Jack drives. I need to add where, what, and an adjective. Jack drives in his green van to the park. Well, we have where he went to the park. What was he driving? We have a van, and the adjective I put was green because it describes the van. Remember, adding these specifics to your sentences make it very easy for people to visualize what's going on. Story Introduction Today we're reading the story called Two Good Things and One Bad Thing. 
In this story, Kate finds out two good things and one bad thing. What did Kate and Max talk to Ron Fitch about in the last story? Right, the bone they found. Let's look at the vocabulary. Thrilled means excited. For example, I was thrilled to get a new bike. State Park, a land owned by the state government that is set aside for people to enjoy. For example, we went camping in the state park. Sayings and phrases, bummer, an expression that shows disappointment and means too bad. For example, it was a bummer that it rained when we went to the park. Two good things and one bad thing. The next week, Nan said, I just spoke with Ron Fitch, the bone man. I've got three things to tell you. Two of them are good things that you will like. One is a bad thing you will not like. Tell me one of the good things, I said. Mr. Fitch got the test back. The bone that you and Max found is a T-Rex bone. Yippee, I shouted. I am glad that it is solved. Max will be so thrilled that he has a T-Rex bone. Well, said Nan, that brings me to the bad thing. What is it, I asked, scratching my wrist. The bad thing is that you and Max will not get to keep the bone for yourselves. Why not? Did we do something wrong? Well, Nan said, it's because you found the bone in a state park. There is a law that says that you can't dig up bones in the state park and keep them for yourself. Bummer, I said. So who gets to keep it? The state. Mr. Fitch and his helpers will keep the bone and dig up the rest of the bones too. And that brings me to the last thing. This is a good thing? Yes, tell me. They would like you and Max to visit them when they are digging up the bones. And they would like the two of you to pick out a name for the T-Rex you hey, found. Ron Fitch, cool. speak with Nan. Right. In the last story, Kate and Max took the bone to Ron Fitch to find out what kind of bone they had found. Ron called with the results. Number two. What kind of bone did they find? Right, they found a T-Rex bone. Number three, why can't Max and Kate keep the bone? You got it. Max and Kate cannot keep the bone because they found it in a state park. There is a law that says the bone belongs to the state and should be placed in a museum for all to enjoy. Number four, what was the last good thing? Right. Kate and Max get to name the bone. Now we're going to answer our comprehension questions. Make sure you write your name and your date like I did. Number one, what sort of bone did Max and Kate dig up? Remember, we have to do complete sentences. Right, Max and Kate dug up a T-Rex bone. Pause the video so you can write neatly and take your time. Number two, why can't Max and Kate keep the bone? Right, Max and Kate can't keep the bone because they found it in a state park. Number three, what will Ron Fitch do next? Right. Ron Fitch will keep the bone and dig up the rest of the bones. Number four. What name would you pick for the T-Rex? Why? You are going to pick your own name out for this. I set the sentence up for you. And you need to fill in your own answers. So I have, I would pick the name blank, comma, because, period. 
Great job today, guys. Don't forget to send a picture of your work to your teacher, and I will see you next week.